Welcome back. back. We're back. Giving, bringing more answers. Weekly. More answers. more answers. Your weekly installment of three crazy friends. Yeah. Answering personal questions to help you get through the night. Ned's yes. Declassified Regression Survival Guide. 112. 112. Um, Here's my question. Yo. Oh, wow. Just right Would love to it. hear okay. Devin talk about Shredder Man rules at some point. Loves it as a kid. Cool. Nice. Cool. So, for the people who don't know, Shredder Man Rules was a Nickelodeon movie. Like, you know how Disney Channel original movies, DCOMs for the the people on the on the inside, DCOMs, <laughs> Disney Channel original movies. They made a bunch of them. Some of them still have a sweet space in my heart. Brink, Brink was Soul great. Raiders, yeah. Rollerbladers. Yep, I loved it. Disney Channel original. Xenon. Oh, Xenon okay, that. Was lit. Yep. Remember Raven Xenon? Yep. Yep. Dude. Yep. yep. Smart House. Smart remember House? Smart House? Yeah, yeah. Was Don't Look Under the Bed one? Do you remember Don't Look Under the Bed? No. I don't remember Don't Look Under the Bed. The it might have been Even one. I don't Stevens remember. It was like a nightmare person. But, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they did them like monthly. Cheetah like, Girls. There was a lot. Cheetah Girls. Cheetah Girls. Cheetah Girls. Yeah, Classic. Yeah. Cheetah Girls. She's on the board. There were so <laughs> many. Please comment like your favorite DCOMs because those were great. There were a ton of them. Okay. Yeah. Nickelodeon could have done that, I think. Uh, maybe should have. Would have been cool. But they did make Shredder Man Rules, which was a one-off. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think it was a, a book series. The person who's asking this, I'm sorry, um, because nice. I'm about to shit on it a little bit, oh. <laughs> but I know you loved it. <sighs> okay, look, Nickelodeon, Ned's got finished. They, they offered me this movie, which was great. Let's do Shredder Man Rules. We had a great cast. I met some awesome people on it. Um, got to work with Dave Coulier, Tim Meadows. Um, Who's uh, the woman? The uh, is she in Austin Powers? Mindy Sterling, yes. incredible. Yeah. Mindy yes. Sterling, yes. like yes. I really got to meet some amazing people. Francia Raisa, yeah. Um, what a babe. Um, <laughs> uh, I got to work with a lot of great people. Kendra Barry was in that one, right? I forget. I don't know. Wait, so, what? Backpack, Backpack boy. boy? Yeah, I, wow. I, forget. I don't know. A quick little spot in there. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll fact check it. We'll fact um, check. It. So it was a good experience. I'm really glad you loved the movie. Um, but in hindsight for me, man, it's like of all the movies to do, I'm coming off one of Nickelodeon's great series and uh, Shredder Man, the role is just a giant fucking nerd. It's yeah. just a giant yeah. dork, which no problem with nerds. I love nerds, man. But in terms of my career, like, what is that? Mm. That's not helping me in any way. Yeah. Mm. Making, go play a, like, Big nerd, mm -hmm. like not casual. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the whole story mm -hmm. is you're a big fucking dork. Mm -hmm. Like not, not cool, man, not yeah. cool. And then there's a real life thing that just makes me, only in hindsight do I feel this, but we took the movie, obviously it was like, yes, but to take the movie, I had to give up um, going on this trip to Alaska with a summer camp uh, from Georgia, oh. um, where I'm from. I was signed up to go on this trek through Alaska for two Dang. weeks. I was 15 years old, and I took the movie, and I couldn't go to Alaska for that. And in hindsight, I wish I went to Alaska. Like, that for my life, I wish I had that experience. Movies I'll do for the rest of my life. I kind of had that one summer to go on this particular trip. It was literally going to be a hike through Alaska for like two yeah. weeks in the summer. Like, I wish I went on that. Yeah. yeah. That would have been more impactful to my life than Shredder Man. We took it hoping absolutely like- Absolutely no way you could have, like, I mean- Couldn't have known. And especially yeah. coming off that, like, I don't know. Of course that, I the took momentum the work. was in that, yeah. Of course I yeah, took the yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, I can but totally yeah, that's understand, how I feel about, yeah. I, I only feel this about Shredder Man in hindsight. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, 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 you win it. I mean, so cause that's, that's a I star study, yeah. And you get a star ring role in a movie. I know, it was like, great. But then, oh, I'm a giant dork. We can always go to Alaska, we could go tomorrow. Yeah. If there was something you could change about Ned's, what would that be and why? The length that it was on, I would do more seasons. That, <laughs> that, that's honest. That, that's honest. That. More seasons. That's yeah. The Ned's High answer. School. Yeah. Man, like Saved by the Bell, Boy Meets World, they went all the way. Ned's yeah. so could have high school, college, although yeah. we've talked about. It. Yeah. We were all fine when it ended. Yeah. We thought, like, we were, it was good. It was like, let's move on. Yeah. But same. That's what yep. I would change. Yep. High school. I agree. Uh, someone asks me, what's up with your girl, Evelyn Kwong? Uh, yeah, Michelle Kim Michelle is, is Kim. her name. This is a character from the show. She came on yeah. second season? 
Third season? Like, second was, season. Second, second, I feel like the second, end of second third. season. Yeah, yeah, she was okay. like Cookie's rival as far as uh, academics goes. Um, and then they also had a little budding love relationship. Well, she kind of forced me into love with her. You have a lot of that on the show. A lot of that going on, man. Yeah, man. Cookie was getting pushed around, bro. It's tough. But um, but yeah, no, she's she's awesome. Uh she's doing her own thing, dude. She takes photos, awesome photos. She's such a great photographer. And I'm sure wow. other uh, aspects of uh, cool. production. She she's just great. She's so skilled. Uh she has two little boys. Aww. Yeah, she's married. Uh yeah, she's awesome. She's awesome. So she's doing well. Do you keep up with her via Instagram or do you guys talk? Like inst- Instagram? Yeah, yeah. She's cool. she's awesome. Yeah. That's she she's really invited cool. me to her like church a couple times. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Really special. I love like who stays in touch. Like I don't know. We all have so much love from the show. So oh yeah. Uh, I got one for you, Daniel. Hey. Ash- Ashley, Thomas Ashley Thomas and some numbers asked. Some did numbers. Daniel ever feel like a third wheel on set when me and Lindsay started dating? Ah. I think. Um, uh, are sorry. you Go about ahead. to answer so for sorry. Daniel? No. I think he didn't. I think he was fine. <laughs> no, I'm telling you because fine, I okay. felt like the third wheel all the way before that. Oh, what? Just being the girl? Yes. Really? You never really felt like the girl. Yeah, you. you kind of just, I mean, well, I mean, whatever that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I was well, it, it felt like I had a vagina when I was around you two for the first couple of years. Oh well, yep. that's nice. Yeah, I did. Nice so I'm know. saying I am projecting my pain of being third wheel. Oh. And not having a third wheel. Wait, so is that why you started dating Devin just to make me yep, feel like a third exactly. wheel? Exactly. Yes, oh, I wanted you to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt it. No, but I'm I did. What? That's valid, Devin. Don't look at me like that. Dang. And I'm, Daniel, I'm just curious. Now you can go ahead and answer. Tool. Okay, no, no, no. I'll uh, <laughs> no, never, never really the third wheel thing. Um, we were in class all the time. Like as he sips his tea, but uh, yeah, we were just in class all the time. It was just uh, a riot, man. Uh, Scott Plimpton. Scott Plimpton was always there. I was never alone. And then when we were out, it was always us and a bunch of other kids. So. I didn't really get the third will thing. I, I mean, think we, I think we were too young to really have made it like, you know what I mean? There's nothing you could really do to, I don't know. Were except, you guys ever just like... Except we used to, like, once we started dating, we would just... Take off and I would go We would go out. make we out. just go off at lunch and make out. Oh, right. I don't remember that, though. I always remember playing Halo unless I just started playing with other people. Certain <laughs> days. <laughs> How long were these makeout sessions? Lo- I mean, all they of were lunch. lunch. All of lunch. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would go make out all That's of like lunch. That's like third season? When did this yeah, happen? Third it was season. A, yeah, third, third season. season. Late, late third, third season. Yeah, it wasn't enough for me to... Yeah. To really and there were always about. other friends people around. Yeah. There. Yeah. 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 So we didn't we didn't oh exclude God, I you. That. That was so far. Yeah, we used to just go make out all yeah. lunch. Yeah. And then they'd come and they'd have to redo our makeup. Like, oh. <laughs> just so just how, dry how, humping. How far were you guys really going? Oh, dry humping? What base is that? Is that where it stopped? It's, it's like you, one and a half. Did you guys yeah. go all the way? Did you knock it out of the park at any point? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No, no comment. comment. <laughs> no comment? I kinda wanna know. What's <gasps> they no wanna comment. know, but no comment. <laughs> no comment. You don't get to know. Well then that means get... they definitely went all the way. <laughs> you don't get to know what bases we mm-hmm. Where was we this cross? place that you didn't cross that base? At? <laughs> where where were you doing that? Isn't it just in your dressing room, your dressing room? What was it? Wasn't there some... on, on set? We never went. We dated for a while after the show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so that's mm-hmm. when some more ba- that's when some more baseball was played. Yeah, oh, okay. yep. we won't tell you how much baseball. It was yeah. softball. Right. It was uh, hardball. Oh, it was hardball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. But on <laughs> on set, we would just make out all lunch and just like rub up. You know, yep. like just just we were just rub lay on each other. Yeah, you know. Yeah, nice. That's and then great. and then like a a <laughs> some some ad or or some pa <laughs> would, would have like, to come be like. Dang. Okay, guys, <laughs> come back where, to set, children. Where did and we're we like, go though. Did we go other places on set? Because we couldn't have gone to our dressing other, rooms. Oh, that well, other our dressing place. rooms. If if like your mom was out, um, but it was that other. There was that other building. Oh right. We'd go to that other green room. Do you remember that? Yeah. I did. We had a whole nother, oh, other. I totally oh, remember we'd that. We go to that oh. other green room and just yeah. fucking close the blinds. You know what hey. I mean? Wow. Dang. Wow. Oh, okay. Yo, wow. Shit was spicy, oh, wow. dude. Yeah, was, dude. That, that, I mean, that was a slow burn. I up won't until say then. what, but you took a lot of my first hey, Lindsay, and they were beautiful. Okay, they were beautiful. It was hot. That's great. That's great. Anyway, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> What's your skincare routine? Your skin is amazing. Nice. I just wanted to hop on here because I am curious about what your twos are, and I only started <laughs> taking care of my skin. Oh. Um, actually, surprise, surprise, when I got sober. <laughs> um, oh, nice. But now I do have a, a little thing where, I, you know, I wash, I tone, I do um, masks a couple times a, a week. But it has been nice giving myself a skincare routine. Um, mm. 
so yeah, that's really good. So what are what do you guys do? I because I, I I did not care about my skin for a super long time, and now that I do, I'm like oh. Uh, there is this really nice um, product called H2O, <laughs> and I just splash it on my face in the shower, and I'm just rejuvenated for the rest of the day. Oh, I know what we're doing for our next Patreon. Oh, Facials? you're gonna give us? Oh, yeah. Latin, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna be an esthetician for you both. We're not gonna do just one step, okay? okay. I'm gonna uh-huh. do a couple steps. I'm gonna wash you, okay? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm gonna massage. We're gonna Ooh. exfoliate. We're gonna get the pores tone. Mm. Hydration, you guys. This makes me sad. Oh, you guys, I want some hydration for the boys. I, I need. I some put hydration. on lotion. Really? Are you that, put lotion on your face? Yeah, nice. I didn't always. It's oh. more of a new step. Yeah. With the beard, I need to oil it, and then yeah, oil, and then yeah. our our um water in L. A. At least is is hard. hard. It, it's it's just called, it's like hard water. Yeah, chlorinated. Like it it dries yeah. you out. So all I do is wash my face occasionally. Not every time in the shower. Sometimes I just let it ride. Right. And uh, put I on do that in the mornings. There is such a thing as too much watching your face. You don't exactly. want to be and your hair. Of everything. Exactly. Sometimes I just let it I run agree. for a couple of days, you know, and <sighs> I then agree. I put on either a little little moisturizer or a little jojoba oil. Right. And that's it. And I Ooh, oil my beard. the oils. You know about the oils? Good, 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 good. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Just a little. But, but a lot of skin's genetics. I think if you start getting in the habit of using way too much shit, like. It doesn't come back from that. Yeah, like you're, you're, I don't know, it's just too much. So but if you one need it, thing cool, that I, I feel know. like y'all would actually really love yeah, yeah. is an exfoliant. And I'm gonna use one on you. It's super lightweight, but really yeah. it just takes that layer of skin off of, no, not like if you're no, gonna no, be no, red after. It. It's, no, no, it's almost it. like it's just like, it's almost I, like taking an extra shower for your skin. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's this Korean skincare thing. And then you put on some moisturizer. You guys, is, I sw- I, I want to, I can't wait. I'm, that sounds awesome. We're do it. I, I can't wait. Mm. Um, I, I was just laughing just then because I was remembering, um, Bill Burr's, uh, stand up bit about, um, like ashiness, right? Yeah. He's like, he's like, white people don't know, uh, about like lotion. Like, like <laughs> that you need moisturizer on your skin. You can't see the ash that you get? Yeah, yeah. he's like, you know, he's like, black people know. Oh, oh well, know. I'm ashy. Give me a little something to, like, mm. moisturize my skin. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> I think he has a, a black wife. And, and, he, and he was like, he said, like, I, I'm not ashy. And she, he said she Scratch, scratched yep. her nails lightly across his arm and just you like. <laughs> <laughs> and I have been noticing that more. I'm like, oh. I maybe do need to expose yeah. you. Yeah. So I'm down. Yeah. If you want to oh show me so some tips will. for self-care, I, so I will. really don't do and, much. Oh my gosh. Lastly, you guys, just for you, because you said that, get exfoliating gloves that you just rush. Ru- I told you in about the shower. This and then you scrub your body. See, that sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's yeah. like you are taking away a layer of filth. Nice. Here, here's with that skin. So I just oh, and yeah, you here's, just, a, here's a, and that gets your lymphatic symptom. It's growing. really, yeah, it's really, really good, good for you for to you. scrape, like scrap, exfoliate your yeah. skin. Um, I have a question for you guys. When I bathe my body in the shower, like I don't use a washcloth or a loofah. Oh. It's just my hands. I just rub soap on I'm, me. I'm a hand guy too. Right? Back, back now, back in Mississippi, like there's like, the African Americans typically have a washcloth. That's like a a thing. It was not. It's it's just not my thing. I don't I don't really use the washcloth. Like I used to use a face towel for like my face. Okay. Specifically for my face, but now I'm more just water. Not into a loofah at all. Well, yeah, not a, not a loofah. Either. Mm, no. Yeah, I feel like it gets dirty. I feel like it will collect. Dirty stuff. I it, don't want to use that same. It loop. does, but the thing I think it's ahead, doing. I'm not. I don't use it. I use my hands. But mm-hmm. I'm realizing what that step is is the exfoliating, exfoliating step, which is yeah. getting off just that top layer that's just yeah. a little dead, a little dry, a little grimy. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's actually, it, it is actually really good for your uh, system yeah. to yeah. like. Scrape. But uh, so the, it goes one step above the loofah is the exfoliating gloves. Okay, and oh. that made me feel like I was actually doing something to my body. So okay. yeah. y'all might like that. All right, I'm, I'm interested. Gloves. Yeah, because I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a little. Oh, I'm so excited. Because the exfoliant gloves sound nice too because I'm already like hands. Yeah, so that'll exactly. Just be, simple that'll just other be a step. simple. Okay, good. Pop on these gloves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay, my sweet okay. a little bit of it. I love that Lindsay that wants to teach so us about oh, self-care in that way. And I'm down. Do you believe me? I'm down. <laughs> I know. I know. Most crazy. Most. Growth, baby. Mm. Are you guys rich? Ned show give you a good money? <laughs> nope. Give you a Ned good show money. Give you a they good didn't money. give me not one good money. <laughs> not one good week of money. <laughs> not one good money. I had good money as a teenager. Yeah. Yeah, it was solid. But it was not solid. anymore, bud. Um, 
Poopwa asks, uh, pee pee poo poo or poo poo pee pee? Oh, ooh, I'm going with poo poo pee poo. Okay. Was that even an option? <laughs> no nope. pee poo poo. Dang. Nope. So uh, this is from Cami Nick ninety five. Okay, alguno quisiera tener hijos? Would you like to have kids? It's an adult question. It's I like a, it. An adult life. My relationship with kids and is has really uh, changed in the, since I became thirty. I can definitely see the value to having a child, and um, I, 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 I no. I just don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. Kids have brought so much to my life in the past, you know, couple of years, but I'm not sure that my energy would ever be clear enough or mm. focused enough to just be on that. Like, mm. I still feel like I'm really working my path. And I also really su subscribe to being part of the village that raises any child, you know, yeah. and just being par a good member of society. There are plenty of youths to help. And then you don't have to feed or bathe them, you know? Yeah. That's a hard one, man. Uh, mm, I, it's looking like it's going to happen in the 40s more and more uh, to me. Yeah. Uh, I maybe would like to have kids, but it's just I haven't had that impetus where I'm like, oh, oh. yeah, this is the perfect time. I'm sorry, the what? The impetus. Just that, <laughs> mm, you yeah. know, impulse to yeah. Wanna, mm, yeah, pop to, one out. Wow. You never, pop one in. you never felt that? You know, in the heat of the moment? No. Honestly, no. I'm pull, I have. Yeah. <laughs> I pull out game strong, man. Mine is too, but that it, that impetus is there. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That primal, just like, I want to put a baby in you. Dang. Yeah. Now, is it about the person Hot that you're with, where you're like, yeah, you need a baby in you, or is it more about, yeah, like, I well, just want to get loose? Well, whoever I'm with, yeah, I usually have some kind of care or connection with them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would not be here. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, in the heat of the moment, then this primal thing rises up, which is like, just, I'm going to put a baby in you. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, ah, and I'm like, Devin, no, fucking pull, pull the fuck out, boy. Oh, Eject. My God. Eject. And my, Eject. And my primal biology is like, fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a baby. Dang. That's Sorry. real, man. That's real. Damn. Sorry. Damn. Damn. It's real, though. I felt it deep. I'm like, damn. There is like, there's like deep drives in us, you know? And it's, <laughs> and it's hot. Yeah. Like, it's spicy That's to great. feel that. Yeah. Like, let's just go all oh, the way. Dang. Let's make a fucking human. Dang. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and you're going you're gonna to stick around for that baby, right? You better. You better. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the moment, he just wants to make that baby. Yeah, I actually don't know. Because in the moment, that feeling's there. But 18 years? <laughs> you never know. Guys, oh, nah, God. You know, uh, so, yeah. So, I, I would... <laughs> I know I I know I need to be a father in my life. Like I know that is a phase of life I want to do. See. Um uh but like you, it just feels very far off. Yeah. And maybe it'll show up quicker than I realize, or an oopsie baby. Oopsie. <laughs> like I've that. had a couple close calls. Oh dear. We call that an oopsie baby. And you know what? I was ready. I was like, if this is what's happening. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess I'm a father now. I'm yeah, um, so yeah. glad Ooh. it didn't. Wow. Um, scary, scary. But scary. Uh, so I would like to at some point. It just feels real far off. And and as a dude, I do feel like glad that I have the luxury of that time. Like I'm 32, and I don't feel rushed to do it. I know for women, it's different. And I like we have to take that into consideration when we're dating women now yeah. at this age. Mm -hmm. Like. If I'm Can dating someone in their family? 20s, it's okay. But if you're starting to, like, now I'm 32. If I start to date some a woman in her 30s, I got to be real about... What her expectation, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and be re yeah. considerate of her time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, oh, man. If she wants kids ticking, uh, and I'm looking for a situationship, like, don't, man. Like, don't, don't I don't do want to waste yeah. your time. Like, oh, if you need so it, if you need to be on that track... Cause yeah, biology like there's a different time for for the ladies. So yeah, I feel you uh, out there. And, that. and for women in your 30s, like just be real about that. I mean, don't like don't like pressure every dude you're just meeting to be like, do you want do you want kids with me yeah. right now? Like yeah. there's a there's a fine line, but also be real about like if you're if you're deep into a relationship, if you're like getting close to a year with someone and you don't feel like it's actually on that track, just be real with yourself about what you need in mm -hmm. that regard. Yeah. It's so yeah. tricky, man. I feel it for, is. I feel I've man, yeah. I feel for so many women who are going through that time of like, I want to have kids, but it's getting late into my mm -hmm. life. And I don't know if it's this guy or if I just need to settle for this guy or mm -hmm. you know, yeah. man, it's tricky. Yeah. It's tricky. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Kid kids yeah. in my forties, probably. Yep. Can I throw one out there? Yeah, Absolutely. Dude, all, right. Time. Uh, all right. This is from uh, Melly uh Punto Puente. 
27. All right. Uh, <laughs> if the trio ruled a country, which of you would be the president? Me. And why? Okay, well, we got that answer. Do you agree with her? No. Oh, no? <laughs> Who would be the president, Devin? Ned Bigby. No. <laughs> oh, wait, are they asking us? Oh, the trio. Oh, it says the trio. Is uh, that Ned Lowe's and Cookie or is that Daniel Lindsay and... and uh, who am I? Well, Dev Devin won the... No, you didn't win the election in the show. No, the, the weasel wins, The right? weasel yeah, wins. Yeah, it's Ned Bigby and your hand up, but Lindsay would also be the president because I would ask you guys nicely and you guys would say, hey, I can see how that might be a position <laughs> where you that. could grow and we'll support you here and then maybe, you know, we can reassess like... That's some reverse all of our, right there. All of our needs. Um, you, don't think, you don't think she could... Your she, time. You don't think she could manage a country? With <laughs> with guidance? Yeah, who would be the... You wouldn't want... You would be the puppet master in the background? Yeah? Okay. It's yeah. me. <laughs> give, me, give me a spot it's in the me. treasury. Okay, fine. If you want to be it's the me. president, I will be the court jester. <laughs> <laughs> jester. Jester. That's yeah, great. you'd be an essential and necessary part about ruling this country, right? but but it's me, <laughs> guys. Just stop. Turn up, turn what up. Would, what would Cookie be? Oh, Daniel would be also a vital part. In, oh, yeah, vital. You, Daniel's sure. a great I'll leader. I'll be in the cabinet Daniel's, somewhere. Daniel's such a good leader. I like to be behind the scenes. But, yeah, though. Daniel, I like to, you I like to plan Daniel's things an out. Leader. Yeah, Give people the, you know. Yeah, hey, you're kind of more the yeah. pup, like, yeah, you can lead. I'm going to be advising and making all the decisions, yes. but I don't need to, yeah. Daniel's a good leader. I'll You're find a way man. to get those income streams coming this way. <laughs> what else we got? Mm. So good. I like that question. Yeah. Let's rule a country. No. Would no. you like to make the pod live in a theater and do a world tour? This is from Marco Riviera. Hell fucking yes, dude. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. Would, would our production team come with us? Hell would you guys roll with yes. It? They said yes. Woo! Yo, we absolutely want to take this pod to road. your city, to your local theater, yeah. and do some version of this together with you guys. Are you kidding me? Hell <laughs> yes. That is a that is part of the vision for this pod. So thank okay. you. And what city do you live in? And do you know who owns a theater? <laughs> no, right. That part. That part. <laughs> I love you so much. Would you survive a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> no. Oh no. Why I mean, not? I would like to, but let's, like, the odds, I don't yeah. think that I'm surviving. Yeah, nah, Lindsay's not surviving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got exfoliated. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm doing that to save your life. <laughs> Daniel, wait. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait but you got to exfoliate. <laughs> yeah, bitch, we don't die. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you passionate about something other than acting? Mm. Music. Nice. Yeah, very passionate about making music and just, like, being with music and expressing myself in that way. Yeah. I mean, I, I I like teaching acting. I mean, I don't know that there's anything oh, that more so, so awesome. Cool. It is you know fun. what I mean? I like so cool. teaching any the, the content. Yeah, so cool. Uh man, I want to say directing. I mean, there's passion there. Music of course, like songwriting. Yeah. I just love. Yeah. Um, yeah, directing, but I think more so helping artists with aspects of their career that I realized in my own mm, mm -hmm. pursuit uh, was lacking, mm -hmm. you know? So helping people through those roadblocks that I've already encountered. Giving away what you didn't so have cool, and be, being what you needed and then giving that to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I see and hope for you as, as you grow, like just more spaces where you're able to be that facilitator for others. Like I, I totally I get that with you. You actually really are good at even gently just like nudging someone forward into a space or helping them uh, mm -hmm. facilitate, learn something, get better at them being a leader. Yeah, yeah. So I can see that for you, sir. Thank you. Turn it up. Mm. Turn it up. Yes. Yes. Thank you for your questions. Oh, um, this person is just uh, finishing. So you, you in the bathroom stall, you, you like... You told us about here I sit, this is from like an old episode. Here I sit, broken hearted, tried to shit, but only farted. This yeah. person said, No, <laughs> there is more to it, which is here I sit, broken hearted, tried to shit, but only farted. Then one day I took a chance, ripped a fart, and shit, shit my, my pants. pants. Damn. Thanks for finishing the rhyme. 
Good stuff. Wow. No, it's real. Like it's a real thing. Like y'all were looking at me like, what is he talking about? It's, people, it's real. yeah, people know about it. And my, my pops was a truck driver, so we would like sometimes we would, and this is kind of illegal, but I would go, <laughs> you know, I would be able to go in the cabin with them sometimes. Uh, and these were just awesome times, man. Uh, and just drive cross country. Wow. With my dad and like in that's the incredible. Sometimes. Yeah, that's man. so and cool, man. Yeah, you go through these stalls and you see, and I would see that phrase written on all these different stalls. Yeah. Wow. I might have been the guy writing those. <laughs> <laughs> different, different. You just right. see these. <laughs> you just see these phrases <laughs> on every stall that I sat in. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. Though. That's yeah, that's uh, so funny, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, a couple people asked about this. I think we touched on this on another pod, but but it, this one's more pointed. Is like a breakup survival guide. Mm. Tips and tricks to get through a major breakup. Um, a breakup. <laughs> Just don't get in a relationship. <laughs> That's the easiest thing to do. Yep. Period. Honestly. You mean in the beginning or you mean getting out of it? I mean the whole thing. Just don't get in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't start. Yeah. <laughs> Love everybody equally, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Done. You know what? I've never na navigated one successfully or healthily, so why don't you... Damn. <laughs> no, they're hard. It break breaking up is hard, and I have this like I, uh, I'd like to say that I'm a lover, but it is a general love for everybody. So sometimes I do find it hard to tell someone that I'm in a relationship with that, hey, it's kind of it, it, we're on the rocks, and we might as well you know get off these rocks by getting out of the ship, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, God, I love Daniel. <laughs> sorry, it's, it's tough, no, no, man. no. It's 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 real. It, it's so tough, uh, but breaking up effectively, I, I, I cannot say that I have mastered uh, that art. Dang, I can't, I cannot even answer this, bro. Wow. I can't even answer fuck, it. Guys. Yeah, it's tough. Um, fuck. Yeah, breakups are super hard. There's no like, there's no getting out of it without it hurting a ton. Yeah. Um, couple things I would say. Uh, I think people put a lot of pressure on themselves to like help each other through the breakup. And I just think like, come back to yourself. Like the relationship is literally about unmerging. So like, mm -hmm. you can't be the one who's there for the person who's hurting because you're breaking up. Like, no, yeah, no, now, now separate. Like actually separate. I know it hurts, but like, you gotta come back to yourself. Uh, it's, it's gonna be messy no matter what. It's gonna hurt no matter what. Um, but also, like, don't be afraid to do the one doing the breaking. Like, really understand mm. why you're still there. Yeah. Because more time with, more bad quality time with somebody than just realizing it and breaking breaking up with somebody. Just, just, just plot if, like, a breakup might be better than what you're, like, doing Experience. now. You know uh, what I mean? And, yeah. and if, like, if y'all can just come to the, it's, like, it's the natural time for that shit to happen. Yeah, yeah I think some people avoid... The breakup. That's what I mean. Don't make somebody then, break up with you. Yeah, you avoid the mm. breakup and then just let the relationship deteriorate Sour, to yeah. a point until like the the breakup is then them them breaking up with you or you just let it get so bad because you knew you wanted to leave but you just avoided that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So like, be real about that. Do the breakup and then just man, come back to yourself. Go through whatever that messy process is. Um, try and not blame, in, try and not blame. Oh, but also that take account when you're going through the breakup, take account. What did you do in that relationship? What yeah. did, what patterns did you participate in that feel like you could grow from? Uh, what did you allow into your life? What worked? What didn't work? What are you grateful for? What are you not grateful for? Uh, let the memories kind of come and go, right? Because you'll like drive around town and it's all memories of where you guys oh, were together. Yeah. yeah, let those feelings come and go. And then also know like it'll pass, man. Time is the biggest thing on a breakup. And then it's related to one other comment, but that's sort of related. Someone, someone wrote like, I was a jerk to my ex-girlfriend and I want her to know like I'm not a jerk anymore. This is another thing. If you fucked up, and your relationship ended, and you feel like changing, beautiful. Make those changes, but don't force the partner who you forced to break up with you to like absolve, the, yeah. absolve you right. with your changes. Um, change for the next person, mm -hmm. change for yourself, but like 
it sucks. I've been in the reverse side of it where it's like, it sucks when someone starts making changes when they've already driven you to the point where you're done. Mm. So if you're making changes after the fact, great. Sometimes that's what it takes to learn the lesson, but don't force them to be a part of it anymore. Let them go. If they were so hurt, they had to break up with you. If you fucked up that bad, man, just, just change for you. Like, and, yeah. and change for the next person and let them fucking go, man. Let it go, baby. You, you got, know, man? that's a tough one, man. Yeah, if you go ahead and let the relationship tough, die, bury that body and so it's not a rotting corpse sitting there. And now you got to smell that rotting that's, corpse. That's a metaphor, oh, right, Daniel? Wow. That's a metaphor, right? What are we planting a flower? Oh, my it's God, Just Daniel. the rotting corpse oil. Yeah. Soil. Uh, yes, the rotting corpse, that is the relationship that must <laughs> be buried. <laughs> okay, so, Devin, quick question from David Davidi Boy? No, David I Boy? One, two, three, four. He's saying, Preguntale a Devin por lo que pasó en San Luis Potosí. What happened in San Luis Potosí con una chica que tenía no novio? What happened with some chick who had a boyfriend in San Luis Potosí? What happened? Yo, Dinos. I actually did see a comment section go off about this. Uh -oh, All right. What happened? Story uh -oh. time! Oh! All right. Mexico story time. Okay. All right. Here's, here's what happened. This was uh, pre-pandemic. This was 2019. I got invited down to a college in Mexico to give like a college talk. Oh. I was kind of like pitching myself for that. Like, yo, let me come down and kind of talk like adult life tips, ad life survival guide stuff. Mm -hmm. Got invited down to San Luis Potosí to do this. I was a little confused because I'm like, look, I've spent a lot of time in Mexico and I know everyone speaks enough English to get by, but like I'm tr you're inviting me down to give like a nuanced discussion about like life advice, I asked them like, are they gonna know what I'm saying? And they're like, yes. And I got down there and it was like, for sure, no. Like some some did, but there was like 300 kids in the crowd, 300 mm -hmm. college <laughs> oh students. And for sure, not all of them were getting like the yeah. nuanced discussion I was trying to give, but it was incredible, okay? Yeah. These people are beautiful. San Luis Potosi is beautiful. I love Mexico. I loved this city. Um, I was down there with Theo Olivares, nice. who uh, played uh, one of the bullies on Ned's curly haired sewing club kid is one of my close friends. He speaks Spanish, thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, he was down there helping me translate. Um, we were staying in the historic center of San Luis Potosi, which is like beautiful. It's this colonial town. Man, I fucking loved it. Having a great time. Uh, so after the college talk, one of the nights we go out, we get like invited out and we go to this club Mm -hmm. uh, with like some of the kids, uh, having a great time. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the chicas, you know, uh -huh. um, <laughs> one of the chicas I'm dancing with, I'm dancing on. I think we like made out a little bit. Like I was vibing and then I forget how the news came to me, but it came to me. <laughs> oh, by the way. And like, she initiated a lot of this, right? Like she started dancing on me and I'm like, hey, you're hot, let's go. Um, mm -hmm. Great time, great time. Until I find, I forget how it came to me. I think Theo might've heard it and like grabbed me and was like, yo. Um, so the news gets to me that, oh, by the way, this girl has a super jealous boyfriend who owns guns. That's the news that gets to me. Right. <laughs> so yeah, all of a sudden the news gets to me. This girl like I'm vibing with has a boyfriend who, is an aggressive, jealous person who owns guns. And it was just immediately like, We gotta go. Nope. Like, go away from me. Why are you putting me in this situation? <laughs> Theo was like talking to people, like, Theo was like yelling at her friends, like, What the fuck are you guys it? doing? Like, yeah. what were are you, you doing drunk? to this man? We're, been drinking? We've been drinking a little, a little bit. Oh, uh, we've been drinking a little bit. Yeah. But like, it was just this moment that went from like all of them looking at like me like making out with this girl who was their friend to everyone being like like oh you you going down she's got a boyfriend she's got a boyfriend she's got a boyfriend and I'm like why I didn't fucking know why would you put me in this situation Dang. and I just imagined the worst right like I'm the American gringo down here in Mexico like swooping on the guy's girl and it just quickly ended the vibe and ended the night and I was a little bummed because like. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you yeah. doing this to me? Why? Yeah. Just hmm? why? Why would you the put me- The boyfriend never showed up, huh? Boyfriend never showed you up. You guys left? We left. Yeah, good idea. 
We said, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> it was a great time, though. And I have nothing but fond <laughs> memories of San Luis Potosí. That wasn't even, they, I think the, the students who were there, like, it was like a big moment for them, like, because they like the cheese, man. You guys like the gossip. Mm -hmm, you like mm -hmm, the gossip. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was just a quick shift of vibes, and we got the fuck out of there and continued to live a glorious life in Mexico. Wow. Wow. So, so. that's the story. Yeah. Thanks for your question, you cheese, <laughs> you gossip, you cheese mosa. That's awesome, dude. Cheese mosas are what they, what, what, um, Gossipous. like girls who like gossiping. Cheese mosa or cheese moso. I'm a cheese mosa. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lindsay's a cheese mosa. Mucho, that was a fun mucho one. Cheese that was a fun one. It was good life experience. Oh, we all, also in San Luis Potosí. Yeah. Um, there was like this girl who worked for the college who, who we were out at like a mezcaleria, hanging out with her. She was like, yo, let's go to this other bar or club. <laughs> Theo and I get in her car. She like need for speed, speed racer, starts like speeding through the fucking streets. And, and it was like wild and kind of fun. Then she gets a call from her brother and, sh and they're like yelling at each other in Spanish. And she's like, hold on, we got to make a stop. Oh. She stops outside this house. Her brother comes out. They're yelling at each other in Spanish. She's like, I'm sorry. There's like a lot going on in my family right now. Hold on, I got to make another stop. <sighs> she, she starts taking us down like roads that don't seem like we're going to a bar or club. It's getting more residential. Ooh. It's getting a little more sketchy. Um, we arrive to this gate that opens and she pulls us into her like family compound mm -hmm. and Theo and I are sitting there in the backseat of her car while her family's having like this big emotional implosion, like, like grandparents and aunts and her mother. And I don't know, I, I still to this day don't know what the fuck was happening, nice. but they're all like kind of like yelling and crying and yelling at her, but then like waving at Theo and I in the backseat, like, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, bueno. No. And we're just like, uh-huh. And we're like locked in this compound. We eventually get put in their living room while they deal with some shit. Dude. It, it was <laughs> wild. And it took a long time. We never went to the bar club, but we did close out the night by drinking and dancing in their courtyard. And like, I was like dancing with her mom. Like we had to like, we had to like, Theo and I had to like smooth the situation out. Yeah. Mm. The, there was heavy emotions oh, happening yeah. in the family. And we just started like, Dancing and drinking with the mom and, and Tia. Oh. Dude. And that and that de-escalated things. Wait, so you didn't go to the bar or you did? Never did. No, well. Just got kidnapped. <laughs> like that. Um uh. where is season three on Netflix? And when can we expect it? Oh, you like like in what like um region of the earth is season three on Netflix? Because I don't I don't think it's on Netflix. It's not. They're asking where I mean. is it? <laughs> oh yeah, you're where <laughs> <And, I mean. laughs> it's like where? That's what where means. <laughs> And hey. we don't make those decisions. Right. Yeah, we don't. Right. We don't. No, no, there's no there, idea. There's no idea. It's on well, Paramount. I mean, <laughs> wait, so even with all like good feedback and all that shit and like the what, like they could still just choose not to put it on there? Whatever their deal was, they just bought seasons one and two. I, Isn't that so strange? It is. It is quite strange. We I, only have three. <laughs> like, it's just <laughs> one more. Yeah. Dude, for I some think, reason, they I only bought one and two. I think they're just navigating it to the point where they're like, right when we're about to be entitled to residuals, they're just going to pull the plug. I think that's it. Yeah. For for those at home who don't know, we're like basically because we were paid over scale as actors like during the time we were filming it, um we have to like pay into a pot of how much we made over scale before we can get like paid from like streaming and scale like is the base union minimum right. of what yeah. can be paid. Mm. Yeah, we try to do the right thing by hey, yeah, we want to advocate for ourselves and make a little bit over scale and now they're holding that against us. Yeah. Oh my god. So weird. So weird. So I think if they have more episodes on, it'll make us get to that threshold quicker. I don't know. That's true. I don't know. We don't, oh, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm Hopefully not part of those. Yeah, I'm not a part huh. of those. Yeah. It's on Paramount. Very good. Yeah. 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 What is your uh, favorite music, guys? This is Jada28270. Right. Favorite music? I like lady rappers. <laughs> lady yeah? rappers? Nice. Yeah. Which ones? Um, So right now, it's this girl, Caitlyn. And Jenner. on TikTok, Snow, the product. Yeah. I know oh, who you're talking oh, about. Dub, dub, yeah, dub, dub, dub. On TikTok, yeah. she had a oh, fire like. Oh my! Like, but everything. Yeah. Son, Russ yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Just like dub. yeah, any female. Yeah. So that's dub. that's basically what the station is on, and then whatever else Pandora brings to me. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. on yeah. Pandora. Yeah. Pandora's still Pan Pandora's still out there. She's still I didn't know. Like that was like fucking ten years ago. Pandora's still pandering. That's how you get right your there. music. Pandora, wow, right um, wow, Pandora, mm -hmm. cool, yeah, cool. Yeah. You still on MySpace? Yeah, nice. I am. 
I'm waiting Losing for you to accept eight. my friend request. All right. Tom. Tom, And sure. um, one of my foot fetish people. Nice. Of course. Um, fan account. Uh-huh. <laughs> and obviously, you know. Um, you only got seven friends. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. That's cool. Um, That's cool. Favorite music, uh, like a lot of shit, man. Spotify's really changed. Like music yeah. changed for me when it became like this algorithmic digital streaming thing. Um, you know, I used to have like a fat iTunes library that like I was picking CDs specifically and listening to full albums. Now I listen to like, yeah, what the algorithm serves me based on my likes and it serves me correct. Um, but like Radiohead's my favorite band. Um, if I had to give you a favorite band. Mm. Radiohead. There's a lot of EDM I like. Lane 8, I think, is great. Uh, Rufus DeSoul is a vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Louis Del Mar. Uh, James Blake. Oh, yeah. James, James Blake, Blake still. Fire, yeah. man. He used to fire. Do those kind of back in the day. He was great. James Blake, Bonnie Vare. Oh, dude. Wow. It's been so long. Yeah. He's you know dope. what I mean? Yeah. I listen. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's so I like so much music, a ton of world yeah. music. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm just I love it. I love I, recently, it. I'm a big Afro beat guy, dude. Yeah, it's so good. Yep, yeah. Wizkid, Davido, Davido. Yeah. yeah, like those cats. Burna Boy, Burna Boy, really dude. Yeah, man. Did you see he played like Hollywood Bowl last year? It just looked oh, like it looked, a yeah. place to be. Yeah, man. Yeah. I want to go to a Burna Boy show. It looked like the fucking vibes. Yeah, man. They, yeah, they'd be locked in, bro. Yeah, they really create a, a certain energy. Still, Afrobeat's amazing. Have you heard? Uh, have you heard the genre ama piano? Oh, dude, this girl was. T- she told me about ama piano just like when I was in Sierra Leone. This is the first time I ever heard of it. Ama like, piano. All these is weird sounds. Fire. Like, it's like yeah. this. It's this weird, like chill electronic. Yeah. Like it's like Afrobeat, like. But like gentle, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's beaut. I'm a piano is sick. It works. Uh, that's been a new favorite of mine as well. Yeah. Um, do you guys have a little tippy tip from from today? Get to a Burna Boy show. <laughs> yeah, that's a good tip. That's a good tip, man. Facts. You won't regret it. Um, uh, yeah. Another tip. Uh, man, you know, try your best to. Not drag on relationships too long. Ooh. We all got to work on Don't it. Don't screw anyone out of a baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You well, know? That too. You know? Unless you really want to have that don't baby. Don't do it. Just, just don't <laughs> do it, yeah. Or don't screw anyone into a baby, Tevin. I'm <laughs> Dang. <laughs> just because your baby. primal I'm urges. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm in um, sure. My tip for this <laughs> episode <laughs> is, <laughs> is um, be careful which spicy Latina you're messing around with in Mexico, she might uh-huh. have a dangerous boyfriend. Hey, But also, have fun. You know what I'm saying? Bias. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bias. Viva Mexico, yeah. vamos! Hey. Vamos, wait, we gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Right, okay, bye. Bye. Hey, hey nice hey. episodes, hey. guys. Hey. Great Ooh. job. Ooh. Thank you for watching. We love making this podcast. Thank you to our patrons who make our podcast possible. Thank you for supporting us. These are super friends. Top tier patrons. Thank you for showing up and get your name scrolled on our video. You are literally helping us make like our dream come true, the dream of this podcast, yeah. keeping it like, you keeping know, it alive. you're helping yeah. us sustain stay, stay this. Staying in the flow of, you know, this cool energy. And you so. viewers at home, you can be one of our super friends. Yeah, go check out our Get Patreon, patreon.com right slash Ned's Pod. We got different tiers, we do a bunch of BTS live streams. It's a it's a crazy good time. And get your name put. And we can also make gold plaques that will settle down. You. Settle down. Settle That's down. A lot. We're not we're not manufacturing gold plaques. You know what time it is. Oh, time what for- time is oh, it? Oh, you know what time it is. Super Friends Dance! Oh, super, super Friends Dance! dance. Oh. Super Friends Dance! How do you do it Woo. with the... Oh, you turn dance. and you pull! Super Friends Dance! Super Friends Dance! It's good. Thanks, uh, love you. Thanks for being here. Be here next week. Subscribe, like, comment, share. We love you. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching this episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you can't get enough of us, we got clips over on the Podco YouTube channel. You can check them out there. And if you really can't get enough of us, we got a ton of extra content and live streams and live Q&As on Patreon. And that helps support this podcast and and help us keep going and make it possible. So we love you for that. Uh, Check out the links in the description. And uh, thanks for tuning in.